This is the continuation of the audio and video for class 9th for the subject of chemistry topic universal indicator which is covered in chapter 3 acids bases and salt and is being submitted to you on 25th January 2021. So students, in the second part of this video, we will discuss the universal indicator. So universal indicator is a mixture of indicator dyes that gives a spectrum of colors depending on how acidic or alkaline and solution is. Universal indicators give different colors at different concentrations of hydrogen ions in a solution. For example, a universal indicator produces green color in a neutral solution, that is when pH is equals to 7. It changes in a basic solution progressively from blue to indigo to violet as pH increases progressively from 7 to 14. The color change in acidic solution is from yellow to pink and then to red as pH progressively decreases from 7 to 1. Students, you may observe the color changes in the universal indicator for different pH values by figure 3.2 which is drawn on page number 47 of your chemistry notebook. Students, now, we will discuss the another new topic of this chapter, which is importance of pH in everyday life. So, number one importance is, our body works within a narrow pH range of 7.0 to 7.8. Plants and animals also survive in a narrow range. Number two, in agriculture, every crop grows better in a particular pH range. For example, rice grows better in slightly acidic soil, sugarcane in neutral acid and citrus fruits in alkaline soil. Number three is If pH is less than 5.6 of rain water, it is said to be acid rain. This water contains acids like sulfuric acid, nitric acid and carbonic acid which are formed by atmospheric pollutants mainly sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen, acid rain produces fertility of soil, destroy marine life and causes damage to monuments. Number four, in medicines, certain diseases are diagnosed only on the basis of the pH value of blood and urine. Number 5. In digestive system, hydrochloric acid is produced in the stomach which helps in the digestion of food but if it becomes excess, the pH falls and pain and irritation occurs. To get rid of this antacids, like milk of magnesia, which is MgOH whole twice, is generally used to adjust the pH. 
Number six is in preventing tooth decay. Substances like chocolates and sweets are degraded by bacteria present in our mouth. When the pH falls to 5.5, tooth decay starts. Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in our body and it gets corroded. The saliva produced by salivary glands is slightly alkaline. It helps to increase the pH to some extent but toothpaste is used to neutralize excess acid in the mouth. Now move on the seventh uses which is bee sting leaves acid in the body if baking soda a base is applied on the stung area it gives relief. Now I will ask you a very short question. You will get a three minutes break to write the answers. The questions are question number one which gas is produced when ammonium chloride react with sodium hydroxide? Question number two pH stands for and the last question number three is which is the hardest substance in our body? Students, now pause this audio for 3 minutes and write the answers now. I hope you all have written the answers by now. Let us take the answers now. So answer number 1 is ammonia. Answer number 2 is power of hydrogen and the last answer number 3 is tooth enamel. Students, now I am ending today's lesson. You all are required to listen the audio again and revise all the topics which we have done today. Thank you and have a nice day.